it's just been a very wet, a very warm winter. Mm -hmm. So I don't know whether you prefer rain or snow. Uh, rain seems to cause a lot of flooding issues though, right? Uh, getting into the weather headlines. So we do have some light rain showers in store for this afternoon. We're not expecting much. And I'll show you these very wimpy rainfall totals in just a second. Temperatures staying above average once again today and gusty winds arriving on Wednesday. And that's going to give us some good wind chills out there. We're back in the freezer later this week. We're getting a good shot of winter for Thursday and Friday, and I'll show you how cold it's going to feel out there. Right now, starting off mainly in the 30s. You have the upper 30s for Hoboken and the city and the boroughs at 38 degrees there. Uh, we're watching that satellite radar picture. The moisture is trying to work, and you'll notice right here we have some of that trying to creep in uh, to northwestern portions of New Jersey, lower Hudson Valley. A lot of it probably isn't hitting the ground yet. We did have some flurries reported earlier, uh, but very, very light. None of this is expecting to amount to much. A lot of it is going to be in the form of rain and this is actually the span of that that cold front that's going to be coming through this area of low pressure is going to stay to the northeast of us and so the good part about that is we're going to be on the outskirts of that rotation so a lot of the moisture that we're going to be seeing is going to be mainly north and west but we do have a shot at it in the city so timing out with the future cast dew points are still rather low so i think by the time they Air, the atmosphere gets saturated enough. We probably won't start to see some light rain till about lunchtime, starting off with snow in a wintry mix north and west, and then transitioning for everybody by about two o'clock to just rain. Noticing the heavier stuff does stay outside of the city, but by five, six o'clock, you could see some of that for the evening commute. And then by nine o'clock, we're clearing out. We lose a lot of those clouds overnight. And a lot of the rain showers, I think, are going to stay outside of the city, even for tomorrow morning. It's mainly just going to be cold and windy for Wednesday. We're going to have temperatures in the 40s with wind chills in the 30s. How much rain could we see? Potentially two tenths of an inch in the city, higher amounts north and west. And in terms of temperatures, because that's where the story really shifts. This is really the big thing headed our way. So for today, we'll be around 50 degrees. Today's going to be pretty great, minus the clouds. By tomorrow, we're feeling like we're in the 30s with that gusty northwest wind throughout the day. And by Thursday morning, feeling like the teens to start, only feeling like the mid to upper 20s into Thursday, despite all that sunshine out there. And by Friday morning, the coldest by far, feeling like the single digits when you start the day. We rebound in such a good way. Notice that after Friday, by Saturday and Sunday, we're going to be in the 50s with plenty of sun and dry. In fact, our next rain system isn't going to be until Tuesday, potentially Monday night. But look at Monday. Even Monday is well above normal in the low 50s.